90 uh, fuel bundles and put them in the fuel pool, there was no place to put them. They had to go into canisters. But the canisters, you got to remember, have uh, three circumferential welds that goes all the way around the canister, and two longitudinal welds. In other words, a plate that's rolled, yeah. on an eight foot plate, and we weld it longitudinally, and then we round it up, we put the two together, and then we do a circumferential weld, another circumferential weld for the the cap on top and another one. So you got, uh, geez, I don't know how many feet of well that is, but it's a lot of well. Yeah. Just so we understand what attacks metal. There's electrolysis, that's dissimilar metals. Take two pieces of metal and weld them together. One that's less noble and one that's more noble, one is gonna plate the other, especially in a chlorine environment, okay? Then there's what's called crevice corrosion. Crevice corrosion is probably your biggest enemy. The reason for that is it's called crevice corrosion. The chlorine it starts eating the metal, especially in a salt water chlorine environment. And now you've got ambient air that's maybe it's 40 degrees one day, maybe it's 100 degrees the next, and what happens is that metal keeps stretching. So you get what's called torsional stress. Torsional stress is like the coat hanger. If you bend it back and forth, it eventually breaks. You know, now that canister is uh, under a lot of pressure with 300 degrees. In the loading process, um, there is a very large risk that those canisters were scratched as they slid down into their storage silo. I have come to realize that the handling of the most hazardous material known on the face of the earth was in fact being handled like any other commercial waste product. Basic safety requirements have been waived or contorted in favor of expediency and cost. I know as a engineer and as a machinist though that is not going to last 10 20 30 years it's just not going to last it can't wow. not on not on the ocean should something happen it will leave portions of this country uninhabitable for not if hundreds but tens of thousands of years